Meanwhile, let's quickly move across, for me at least, across the Atlantic Ocean uh, to the Netherlands. Inge Donkvert will talk about the Zerti Learning Object Authoring. Uh, this is a this is a, an exciting tool that has been coming on strong here lately. So, Inge, take it away. Yes. Um, one moment. I'm. I've lost. Oh, and she lost her audio. Inga, if you can hear us, um, your audio went silent, and I've experienced that. You might need to leave the audio and come back in. Hello. There we go. You got it. Yeah, You're back. back. <laughs> yes, it was a great entrance. The wrong button. <laughs> um, can you make me presenter? Yeah, she lost her. I, I got think it. you are. She lost it when she bought. Oh, she lost it. Out. Okay. Okay, yeah. you've got it back now. Yes, thank you. Uh, I, I, I can share my screen here. Yes, okay. So my name is um, Inge Donkvoort. Let's see if I, what's the right screen. Can you see my screen now? There it is. We got yes. it. Okay. Yes. I'm uh, Inge Donkervoort. I'm from the Zurti community and I'm director of the company called D-Learning and we do a lot with, uh, with Zurti. And um, I'm going to tell you what Zurti is in a minute for the ones that don't know what it is. Um, but uh, I'm very happy to be here and uh, do this lightning talk. And tomorrow, if I forgot to say it in the end or I don't have time because um, uh, Martin says uh, it's time. <laughs> Tomorrow there will be also a workshop on Zerti. So if you want to know more, then you can uh, join us tomorrow. Um, today I'm going to tell you a bit about Zerti. Uh, what is Zerti? Zerti is an, uh, an authoring tool that you can use, uh, use next to uh, Sakai or in Sakai, um, as a matter of fact. And you can create all kind of um, media rich, interactive, uh, highly accessible uh, online learning materials like uh, things you already can do in uh, Sakai, the quizzes and hotspots and that kind of things. But we have um, 76 interactive pages. So there are a bit more than you can use in Sakai. So you can add it and uh, can use both of um, the best of both worlds. Um, for example, um, uh, escape rooms and interactive videos, all kinds of things are in there. Um, one of the things that's really an important thing in Zurti is the accessibility. So everything we do, everything we create will be tested on accessibility. And there's also an accessibility statement. Um, I have the, I will put a link to this um, module into the chat so you can look at it afterwards. There's a lot of information in this module. Um, so what can you do with it? You can create online modules. You can have all, all kinds of interactivities. Uh, create uh, modules for practice, for uh, formative tests, for uh, introduction of a topic to create escape rooms, flip classroom, micro learning, adaptive learning, also a very big part of uh, what uh, Zerti is doing. And I saw in the poll that Josh, Joshua did that, for example, learning analytics is um, very important for you. And that's also one of the things that's uh, available in Zerti. You can have uh, dashboards and see what um, your students or your group of students did with a question, an answer, a whole learning object, um, and that's all um, uh, saved and shown in a dashboard. I don't have an example in this um, lightning talk, but tomorrow I will show you more about that. So I have a few examples here, um, and I say Zerti is in all flavors. These here on the top are all uh, Zerti modules from different organizations. And as you can see, they are all looking different. So it's possible to have your own look and feel, your own um, branding into the modules. Uh, so a module from the one university is totally different from another organization. Um, to look at these uh, modules, you can click on the uh, on the examples here on the top, then you get some information about it. And when you click on this uh, image, 
it will open a new screen with the module itself and you can take a look at the module. In this case, it's a module with all kinds of interactivities. It's in Dutch, sorry, but uh, it's go, it's, um, uh, the subject is um, smart goals and preparation of uh, a, a topic. Um, a student can click through the, the module and sometimes they get um, uh, ex, um, interactivities uh, that they have to fill in and that that's all kind of interactivities and on the on the end of the module uh, you can also have a result page or see the results in the dashboard so this is one example of uh, the modules that you can create with it. I just pick uh, some out. Tomorrow in the workshop, I will uh, explain a bit more about this. Uh, for example, this one, this one page type you can choose in the Zurti Online Toolkits template. And this is the um, Media360 image. In this case, you see a castle in Newark um, where you can walk, walk around the premises and do all kinds of things. For example, when I click here, then I get um, a video about the story of Newark. Um, when I go back a bit, um, for example, uh, here, then I get also a video, but it can also be other things like um, a map or information in text and images. Um, I can add all kinds of interactions to it. I can also walk to behind it, this castle and go to the next uh, place to see what's there. Uh, in this case, it is a castle, but you can imagine that you also can use this for onboarding on your university or whatever. Um, it's also a great uh, tool or great page to use for um, a sort of escape rooms because when I click here on the lock, I have to answer this um, question before I can go on to the next um, yeah, phase of this uh, learning object. So this is the module, the Media360 image page. Um, so this is another example what you can do with Xerti. Um, this is also a nice one. This is an um, escape room. It's also in Dutch, so you can try it, but I don't know if you uh, um, manage. Um, and an escape room is like a real escape room. You don't know what you uh, should do. You're just placed in this um, uh, classroom and yeah, try everything out and see what you can find. So I can click on some things and get some information. And I can also put out the light, for example, and put it on. And I know in this case, I have to go here and I have to do some things here and then I, co I can go back to uh, try to escape this room. So this is also um, a thing that you can do with Xerti. And one last thing I like to show you is this one. You can also create a sort of mini website. Um, so this looks different. I don't click through the pages, but I have more of a mini website. And in this case, it's a mini website about how you can create a Xerti online module. Um, maybe when you use the translator in your uh, browser, you can also look at uh, the text in English. Um, this is a very nice module about creating uh, online learning materials in this kind um, of this kind in Xerti. And the last thing I want to tell you today is how it works together with uh, Sakai. Uh, this is uh, Sakai in this case. Uh, you use an LTI link um, uh, from Tugi in this case, Dr. Chucks, and then with the LTI link, it's um, the, the Zerti module is put in the LMS, so it's put in um, in uh, Sakai. The student is create is doing the module and he has some results, and that result will be uh, added to the gradebook um, of Sakai, also using that LTI, and then. Um, the student sees if he uh, passed or not, and the teacher also can see that. So this is the way it works, and this is also what we are trying to um, do tomorrow in the session. So this is it for now. Uh, don't know if I have time for questions. 
you have one question that would be good to answer. Um, Eric is, or well, sorry, I'm not sure even who that is, but what version of LTI are you using? Is it 1.3 or, oh, Willow yes. says 1.1, okay. No, 1.1, but uh, 1.3 is also possible. Okay, very good. Other questions for Inga? We have a few seconds before I throw her out. <laughs> Okay, oh, here comes some. <laughs> I think I see some kind of questions. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Shagan, appreciate it. <laughs> All right, um, excellent. Okay, well, let's move on then. Thank you very much, Inga. That's exactly what we need, but it's a lightning talk, so we have to move on.